Come with me to the International African American Museum located in Charleston, South Carolina. Which, by the way, African American is totally a misnomer and it's not a real or recognizable nationality. It was truly a sight to see the ambiance and the energy and the whole surroundings in general. Like, look at this. Charleston is absolutely gorgeous. The only thing is that it was more so full of indoctrination rather than what really matters which is true education the thing is america is not completely ready to tell us our truth america will give us bits and pieces of our truth and give us a whole chunk of lies and when i say us i'm referring to the aboriginal moors that are indigenous to this land which by the way that's noble drew ali somebody you should definitely study i had a huge discrepancy with this because what do you mean scattered from their original homeland as if our ancestors aren't the aboriginal people of the entire planet they're pushing this huge lie to keep us locked into a box as if our ancestors aren't also the native americans as if our ancestors aren't the old original Native Americans. That's a problem to me. Anyway, the Gullah Geechee exhibit was really dope, but it was definitely fictitious and it was fantasy, their fantasy, because they made it seem as if all of the Gullah Geechee people arrived here on boats. And that's simply not true. Many of the Gullah Geechee people are actually aboriginal to this land, although some of them did come from so-called Africa. If you go back and watch my Gullah Geechee video, you'll see where I go further into detail. The Gullah Geechee people are a mixture of the native so-called Americans and the native so-called Africans that escaped slavery. They escaped the rice plantations together and then they built their own communities in the wild, raising children in freedom. Either way, they're all descendants of Moors. Isn't it interesting how they played Gullah Gullah Island, but they didn't tell us that the reason why slavery ended was because they couldn't stop the Gullah Wars? Anyway, my brother found this exhibit really interesting because he's Muslim, but it, what's even more interesting to me is the fact that they don't tell you that Islam really stands for I self law am master. And Allah is actually arm, leg, leg, arm, head. Anyway, I just really love the aesthetics and the visuals of our people. It just reminded me of the culture and I just, I love our culture so much. Now, this was the really fun part. They talked about African traditional religion. Well, better yet, indigenous traditional religion because... We actually share the same spiritual practices as our people from all over the world. I mean, even the people that we know as Native Americans today take part in the same spiritual rituals and spiritual practices that we do in Africa, Brazil, the Caribbean, everywhere you could possibly think of because we all venerate our ancestors we all honor the nature spirits and yeah it just it, it, the connection is just very very evident they talked about the orishas ifa iseche candomble santeria all of the spiritual practices it was just oh my gosh it was amazing and the artwork look at this like what a creative people now while i know for a fact that some people were brought in from the so-called continent of africa to the so-called americas their numbers are almost always as a matter of fact their numbers are always exaggerated even when it comes to their statistics about us especially they're exaggerated so i always take their numbers with a grain of salt the one thing i kept thinking while i was here was like um okay this is solid proof and evidence that this happened that our ancestors were held captive so pay up but yeah, let's talk about the Haitian Revolution, which by the way, Toussaint Louverture, which was the primary leader of the Haitian Revolution, is actually a Taurus, just like me. So big up to Taurus gang. But anyway, moving forward, at this point, I gave the phone to my nephew so he could record so I could get some camera time because I noticed that my engagement is always higher when I show myself in the video. Look at the colors. Oh my gosh, I was like amazed. I was having a blast. Can you tell? This piece right here really reminded me 
of a Goon Goon from Yoruba and Jed from Ancient Kemet. But yeah, look at this. More artwork. Absolutely amazing. To the far right is Patrice Lumumba. That was the Congo's first prime minister that actually did right by them after their independence. But unfortunately, he was assassinated less than a year after he took the position. This wall was really cool because it was a timeline. And of course, their timeline. So I do suggest that regardless you do your own research and they bring us to marcus garvey who was big leo energy and he made huge steps in the movement so we appreciate him always the harlem renaissance was such an extraordinary move for new york city this paved the way the scramble for africa was the berlin conference that happened in the 1800s where european leaders from all over got together and divided africa up into 54 countries and guess what not one african leader was in attendance and to make matters worse once they gained control of these territories they treated the people harshly and leopold in particular was chopping off arms when quotas weren't met i do have a video explaining those events more into detail so you can go check that out so let's talk about voting because yes our ancestors did absolutely fight to vote but that's because they wanted equality they wanted to have a say so you know and that was their right however now all these years later we see that it's doing absolutely nothing for us so i don't really see a point do you because well realistically speaking it doesn't matter who we vote for they're going to put in office whoever they want to put in office regardless of who is quote unquote elected now read this sign and this was an actual law and it tells you that if you call yourself a negro or black person or a colored person even an African American person, you are considered chattel. And that still stands because once again, those are all misnomers. What is your actual nationality? By the way, have you ever noticed that the words Atlanta and Atlantic are oddly similar to the word Atlantis? Hmm, doesn't that make you wonder whether or not America is the true ancient world, the true Atlantis? Anyway, the conquistadors were the Spanish that conquered the Moors and took Spain back from our ancestors, the Moors. So it's very odd to me that they didn't include the word Moor not one time in this museum. But yes, there were also so-called black conquistadors or what we would like to call dirty Moors that sold us out and also helped the Europeans to fight against us. Isn't it interesting how they always separate the Native Americans from the Africans knowing damn well that we all have the same exact blood? We all share the exact same genetics. I really loved this piece about our Maroon ancestors because they were such a force to be reckoned with. I mean the Maroons were all over and they were free. That is such a powerful part and my favorite part of our legacy. The fact that our ancestors fought for their freedom. They didn't fear anything at all it was either freedom or death believe it or not many of them understood that we never truly die anyway energy does not die it only transforms and so they were not afraid of transitioning if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing also let me know in the comment section what you thought about this museum and if you would ever visit peace and oneness